Hey guys, Vincent here, and this is the Artillery Bayonet 1871. <music> Welcome back to the second video about this interesting family of bayonets. This time we are going to leave the Prussian era behind us and enter the Imperial German era. The Artillerie Seitengewehr 1871, or Artillery Bayonet 1871, is a sword bayonet with a pipe back blade design and a brass hilt. The bayonet is fixed to a rifle via a 17.4mm diameter muzzle ring and a leaf spring locking mechanism in the handle. The scabbard is made from leather with brass fittings. The overall length of the spinet is 630mm. The pipe back blade is 505mm long. On its widest point the blade measures 31mm and near the handle the blade is 9mm thick. Without the scabbard the bayonet weighs around 830 grams. After the victory over France in 1871, and the following proclamation of the German Empire, a lot of things changed in the Prussian army. The important change for our story today was the separation of the foot artillery from the field artillery. The now fully independent foot artillery regiments were tasked with carrying the really heavy guns for siege warfare, destroying supply lines or counter-attacking the enemy's artillery positions. To give those foot artillerymen a fighting chance against surprise cavalry attacks, they needed a rifle and a bayonet. Before that they only had pistols and short swords. Like so many other units during the 1870s, they got the Jägerbüchse 1871 as their new standard weapon. When looking for a bayonet to go alongside their new rifle, the Prussian army simply took the Fusilier Bayonet 1860 and reduced its muzzle ring diameter from 21 to 17.4 mm to make it fit the Jägerbüchse 1871. These former Fusilier bayonets were available since the Fusiliers adopted the regular infantry rifle and infantry bayonet 1871. So to cut a long story short, the artillery bayonet 1871, or AS71 for short, is nothing more than a Fusilier bayonet 1860 with a reduced muzzle ring diameter. Since the now very thick muzzle ring would block the sights, they also had to remove a few millimeters of the top of the muzzle ring. There were also some completely new artillery bayonet 1871s produced by Simpson and Co. in Zool, but they were all for the army of Saxony. The reason why only the Saxon army needed newly produced artillery bayonets is quite simple. They only had one Fusley regiment and therefore didn't have enough Fusley bayonets to equip their two foot artillery regiments. And keep in mind that you not only have to equip the Lion foot artillery regiment, but also its associated reserve and Landwehr regiments as well. The AS-71 would stay with the foot artillery even when they dropped the Jägerbüchse 1871 for the carbine-like Gewehr 91 in 1893, which by the way could not have a bayonet fixed to it. The soldiers liked the bayonet because it was sturdy and robust, but still smaller and lighter than the old artillery machine knives. It was only in 1908 after the foot artillery adopted the Mauser Gewehr 98 and later the Carbine 98 together with the S9805 bayonet that the AS71s were finally sent to the depots. But they wouldn't stay there for very long as we will see in the next and last video of this series. So as we already learned the AS71 is a former Fusilier bayonet 1860 modified to fit the Jägerbüchse 1871. So most of its markings are exactly the same as one could find on a Fusilier bayonet. The only difference here is the unit marking, but still we're going to start with the manufacturer. This bayonet was produced by Clemen and Jung in Solingen. The G indicates the material Gussstahl, or crucible steel. Like on the Fusilier 1860, the proof marks can be found on top of the handle. These fusilier bayonets and artillery bayonets have always two property stamps, one on the blade and one on the hilt. They don't have to show the same digits, but most of them do. In this case it's W64 
for Wilhelm I and the year 1864 when this weapon became state property. The unit marking here is actually kind of unusual as it's from an Etappen Munitionskolonne, a type of ammunition column, which was actually the only other type of unit who used the AS-71 bayonet. The much more usual foot artillery unit markings would look something like the markings here on the scabbard. Just a regular A and F for artillery on foot. So that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions just let me know down in the comments or send me an email. And this leaves me with nothing else to say but I will see you guys in the next video.